wake speed, fault codes, fault code during configuration transfer. Let's take a moment to discuss a few important details about fault codes and the wake speed device. In this example, after about 15 to 30 seconds, the indicator light on the wake speed regulator is going to change to a fault code. And in this particular case, it's indicating that the fault is missing battery voltage. This is due to the fact that we're not currently connected to a battery. This fault code will prevent you from being able to send a configuration to the device. So what we recommend to do when you're getting ready to transfer a configuration is to first press the reset button. This should be a quick press, not a long press. Wait for the green light to blink and then go ahead and configure the device before the regulator faults again. Note that during transfer, the solid green indicator light is stating the regulator is in configuration mode. How to read fault codes. On the wake speed regulator, fault codes are shown via the indicator light located on the inside of the unit. When you enter a fault code, there are two bursting patterns, two sets of flashing lights, followed by the fault code itself. So as you'll see, we're now going into the fault. You'll see there's a marker and there's a second marker. Don't count these first blinks. And now, one, there's your first digit, one, two, three, four, and your second digit. So this indicates fault 14. You can look up what each fault code means in the wake speed user's guide. In this example, 14 means the regulator is unable to sense battery voltage. This makes sense since we are not currently hooked up to a battery. One last thing to note in regards to fault codes. There are two classes of fault codes, self-resetting and hard wedges. It just depends on the severity of that particular fault. Refer to our configuration guide for more information.